When it comes to the felony bid rigging indictments hanging over three top aides to Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo, let's just say outgoing DA Kim Og has zero faith her potential successor Sean Tier will ensure the cases reach a jury. Tier sought and received the enthusiastic political endorsement of the Harris County judge whose office is at the center of the controversy and ongoing criminal investigation. All of this raises the specter of fixing cases for political support. And so this Thursday, Kim Og dropped the hammer, announcing she's handing over the prosecution to our state's top cop, Attorney General Ken Paxton. Og says after two years of fat gathering, the case she's transferring is in good shape. We'd like to see the case tried sooner rather than later because that's what the public wants. The public deserves to see the evidence in the case. Panel reaction was, let's just say, predictable. Commissioner Rodney Ellis accused Og of a new low. Sean Tier said Og was more interested in political feuds than justice. And Lena Hidalgo wrote Og has, quote, sealed her legacy by sending this vendetta. All right, Paul Castro, you've been following this. What's, what's your take? Yeah, I, um, the public wants accountability. The public wants corruption to be wiped out. Uh, we see the cost of all of that in our taxes and our lack of services and things that seem to be always going in the wrong direction. Um, what Kim Og did is absolutely political. She's an elected politician. She did the thing that she thought she needed to do to achieve the outcome of, in this case, representing her constituency that originally elected her, which would want her to hold people accountable. So I think this is a great idea. I found it really disturbing that Sean Tier came out so strongly on something that he's not exactly working on right now. And of course, the dog did what she did. All right, Holly, you've been covering this. You were in the room with Og this week. Uh, what's your, what were your takeaways? Oh, I thought uh, Kim Ong was very strong. Uh, she was very defiant against those who uh, claim this was just a political prosecution. Uh, you know, you and I were both there, and uh, she handed out the coin with the motto of her office that is equal justice for all. Um, and it was really disturbing to listen to Sean Tier on the campaign trail where he was talking about this case. This was probably one of the reasons he won that Democratic primary election, defeating Kim Ong. Um, and it's very disturbing to think that uh, the potential next district attorney is going to going to get rid of a case that uh, there's a lot of evidence. You and I have looked at those affidavits, the latest round of affidavits and uh, new search warrants that came out last November um, had a lot of new information. Um, it's possible we could see additional indictments in the, these cases and this investigation. I think there's still a lot that we'll be learning about this and I think it's appropriate to put it into a different office for prosecution and investigation. Having worked with Tomorrow Bell for many years now, I suspect she's locked and loaded on this topic. <laughs> Kim, good job. You said uh, when you uh, gave your speech, you had nine more months in office. This was a good way to spend one of them. So I hope you do this on some other things that I feel you walked away from that you shouldn't have walked away from. And I think if you can get a new grand jury for a uh, homie over there, you can get a new grand jury for homie over there in that building with you. Uh, so I think that that's a very good thing that you have done. And I do find it, as uh, Holly said, really shocking because Sean Tier, the way he was talking on the campaign trail, you honestly would have believed he had looked at all the evidence evidence and seen everything in the case and then Kim's like he ain't never seen nothing that is disturbing and don't say that he may be the next DA because you see 30,000 more Republicans in Harris County voted than Democrats in the primary check your numbers Charles 30 seconds because we need to close with yeah. Chris. Um, well I mean tomorrow make, doesn't make a, point, a good point I think that you know this is she's she did say she doesn't have faith in Sean Tier. well you know I guess not the voters either because there is still an election to be had but I do think that it, it makes sense to move it um, Sean Tier did also say that he would bring in a new prosecutor. He did say that, to be clear. Um, but I do feel more comfortable with it going to the Attorney General's office. We'll see what happens. It's been a long time. We haven't moved anywhere. I'd finally like to see something start moving. Um, the taxpayers deserve it. By necessity, Chris Tritico knows all about this case because I go over and, and, and get his, his <laughs> insight right. all the time. That's right. And look, I, I thought that with the feud that Kim August had with the county uh, commissioner's court uh, for her entire term, mm -hmm. that she should have brought in another prosecutor from the beginning. Uh, day one and so um, her moving it this late uh, I thought I thought it should have been moved early uh, Sean as you say Sean Tier said on the campaign trail he was going to bring in a new prosecutor and so uh, moving it to Ken Paxton's office in my view was purely political on Kim's part um, she could have brought in another DA from an outlying county to take it over <coughs> and didn't have to move it 
to the attorney general who is on a um, on a pretrial diversion out of Harris County. It was all all politics in my view. Kim Og, I asked her this question: <clears throat> Is it ready to go? She says, uh, "Yeah." Uh, she didn't want to preempt the the, uh, the the attorney general's office. She says, "We've got eight months to try this before I'm out of office. Plenty of time." Yes, I mean, it, she's had the case for how many years now? They could have set this thing for trial a long time ago. Now, I don't know what the defense is doing, but and I don't know where, where they are, but this case could have been set for trial a long time ago. Harris County, you're ready for a go to trial in a year, 18 months max. Got to go to